It's real hot outside, and that makes me want to go to the beach, but I can't. So I thought maybe I'd go to a street, far street fair, but I can't. And then I thought, let's go to the zoo! Again, we're not allowed out. So I've made a drink for you called the Coney Island Lemonade. Today on Drink Up Cocktails. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a cocktail shaker or other strong glass that you can both shake and muddle in. Something to muddle with, like a hammer of Thor. You're gonna need a spoon, half a lemon, uh, some vodka, some seltzer, plain is fine, or you can use vanilla or lemon flavor, and some ice and sugar. Very important, sugar. If you don't have ginger to use in the cocktail, you can also use a cinnamon stick. You're gonna muddle it the same way and you'll get kind of a funnel cake vibe. But today we have a lot of ginger to use up, so we're gonna use ginger. Now you're gonna peel and cut a piece that is about the size of your finger. If it's bleeding, it is your finger and it's not the ginger. So just pay attention. You're gonna take the piece of ginger, again, not a finger, and put it into the cocktail shaker. Now you're gonna open your giant artisanal mason jar of white sugar. Use brown sugar if you're fancy, but around here, we had white sugar. And use a spoon, about a tablespoon. Um, you can use an actual spoon from your table if you'd like. We just happen to have this standing by and put that into the shaker. So right now, all that's there is the sugar and the ginger or cinnamon stick, if that's what you're using instead. Now take your hammer of Thor or other muddling device, and you're gonna break up whatever's in there. This will release the liquids in the ginger, as well as just like make it look and smell really good. And for the cinnamon stick, it's going to break up the oils. So you don't want to use powdered ginger because it won't actually incorporate into the, sh into the water or the liquid that's in the drink. It'll just kind of end up on your tongue and then you're accidentally doing the cinnamon challenge and you have to explain that to your mom and it's like a whole thing. So once that's suitably crunched up, you're going to take your half a lemon or a shot of lemon juice if you don't have a fresh lemon on hand and add that in full to the, to the shaker and muddle away. So much like, whoop, much like a carnival, you don't really know where it's gonna go. You should know where it's gonna go. I think they post their, their schedules and their routes online at this point. Anyway, so you're gonna muddle it till all the juice is out of the lemon and you release some of the oils in the peel. That way you get the juice and then a little bit of the bitterness from the oil. And it should also, if you give it a nice swirl, kind of, uh, you'll be able to see that the sugar is liquefying as well. Now, you're going to take your commemorative uh, Smithsonian National Zoo glass, which you filled with ice, and just throw a couple cubes in there, maybe three or four. You want it to be really cold. Duh. Then you're gonna take your vodka, add two shots, or two ounces, to the shaker. and then put on the top and seal it tight and you're gonna shake it until you can no longer feel your hands. Let's go. I can still feel them. And they're suitably numb now. So you're going to take, if you want a Moscow Mule sort of vibe, a copper mug. If you uh, want just a regular glass, you can do a, a low ball or a snifter. Um, personally, I just really miss the Smithsonian National Zoo. So I'm going to use this commemorative cup because no one can tell me not to. So in this cup, I've just put a bunch of ice because it's left over from the shaker because I prepare. You're going to take the top off of your cocktail mixer or you can just use a mesh strainer or whatever you have and you're going to pour what's in the shaker into the glass. Now, if you're using a large commemorative zoo glass like I am, it's not gonna look like much. But just like when you go to the fair or the park or Coney Island and they make you one of those just sugar and lemon lemonades, you know that you're making sort of a concentrate and then you're gonna dilute it with whatever you have left. So you're gonna take your uh, seltzer or other fizz and you're gonna fill up your shaker or what you're using to shake with um, just enough so that you can suitably fill up your glass. 
whether it's a commemorative glass, a mug, your own two hands, whatever is easiest. You're gonna swirl it around really gently because you don't wanna get rid of the bubbles because otherwise, why are you using bubbles? But just enough to catch that extra sugar that's at the bottom as well as the ginger or cinnamon that's in there. Now you're gonna take the top and you're not gonna put it on entirely. You're just gonna sort of attach it like that so that you can strain the big parts but still get the fizz out. And just fill that glass up with fizz. If it spills everywhere, um, I don't know, use the baby wipes your mom packed in the backpack that she brings to the zoo every time you go. Duh. And then to garnish, you can cut a nice piece of lemon and put that on the side and maybe put some commemorative straws, maybe two, into the glass. Give it a nice swirl and it's just like you're back in Coney Island or the zoo or the aquarium or the state fair. Remember outside? If you liked what you saw today or it just makes you extremely angry, please like and subscribe right there. Right there. Right there. Thanks.